Brady? Was that game about what you expected? Was gonna be? Uh, that and a little more, yeah. No, it was, uh, it was awesome. I was just, you know, talking about it over there, just, you know, just to be a part of something like that, you know, the special rivalry that it is, and uh, just the opportunity. This is awesome, you know, and uh, I think uh, the back and forth, it just made it that much more special. And, uh, that's the way those games are going to go. I think Coach Norvell brought it up. Like something, 18 or so of those games have been one-score games, which is unbelievable, you know, and uh, got to find a way to win, which we did. So it was cool. First half or second half, um, what, do you guys, what do you guys think you guys did differently to stop the, them from running Fable to run the ball? Uh, I mean, one, it's just the decision, the response to stop the run. I mean, it has to, it's a mental decision to do that. But also scheme-wise, I mean, shutting down the loose gaps that we were letting them get through and, you know, doing a little bit more up front to uh, – to shut that down and uh that's what we did i mean it was uh it was a battle that was a really good front that they had up there you know we got a battle back and uh i thought, I thought we did that it was good what do you think it is about this this defense it seems like they take two in-game adjustments really well yeah i think that just speaks to the veteran group and the buy-in that we have you know with just the staff and as a as a team you know we we, we know what we're doing wrong and it's better when we have guys come to the sideline that are also see, or talking about what we're seeing out there so it makes it easier on the coaches to make adjustments and you know when you have the first hand uh, eyes out there that are telling you what's going on then it's easier for us to make adjustments and uh, usually when we go in the second half we do a ton of talking in there and uh, it helps us a lot but yeah the veteran presence is huge to have out there for us how much does the rotation help to save you late in the game in the sense of you're able to go out there and exert yourself more in the fourth quarter than if you had played 60 consecutive snaps or something like that? Yeah, I think I think that's a huge part of, you know, what happened in that game. I thought we were able to wear them down, as you know, especially in the fourth quarter there when it got down to some of the pass rush situations. Yeah, just being able to rotate, getting fresh bodies in there, and then uh, the different combinations we're able to throw at you. You know, we all have different play styles up front, whether it's me, Josh Fabo, Malcolm, Danny, whoever you want to throw in there. I mean, we have different styles of play. And, you know, the more you can throw out an offensive line, the better. And uh, I thought we were able to do a good job of that. Can you, Speaking of that, um, the rotation, um, when you go on the sideline, you're able to watch a play, a couple plays. Like, does that help to be like get a different angle and see like this what's working, what's not working? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can, there's a lot of things you can pick up from the sideline, whether that's different snap count keys, different uh, alignment splits, whatever you can, you know, kind of pick up from the sideline. You can go out there and put into play. Uh, and also, you know, making adjustments for guys that are out there, you know, telling them what you're seeing that they're doing or vice versa. You know, if they see something you're doing, they're able to correct it on the sideline. And when you get back out, you know, it, uh, it helps a lot, especially when you got, you know, older guys that are able to see certain things. Yeah, it's, it's Did you, how many snaps would you play? Yeah, I, I average probably 60 to 80 snaps a game. But, I mean, it's a... Did you have to pace yourself? Uh, I didn't know any difference, so I mean, that, that felt like it was normal. <laughs> I mean, but my body would pay the price, you know, after games. But uh, no, I mean, it was good. I, I feel great right now. I, I mean, I played, I probably cut those amount of snaps in half per game, which has been huge for me. And, uh, it's been able, able to keep me fresh, so it's been awesome. Did you know Spoyne? Uh, I was uh, there the year after he left, so I missed him by a year. Uh, never met him, but, you know, I've heard. There's nothing but good stories about him. That guy's a, that's a football guy. Yeah. Like, like you kind of talked about that. I mean, we talked about how it's a rotation matter over the course of a game, but like you said, I mean, compared to how many reps you played last year, how much of a difference was made this far into a season over the course of the season? Um, it, for sure. I mean, at the beginning it was new for me because I was used to being out there, getting the groove. It, you know, it's, it was a little bit of an adjustment, but, you know, now, I mean, I'm really thankful for it. You know, me and Odell have plenty of talks about it that, you know, he's trying to save my body because, playing in your six years no I mean it's not easy but uh yeah I mean I, I do a lot off the field to take care of my body so you know cutting down the snaps has been huge for me as well so I don't have to put too much wear and tear but uh no it's been awesome have you realized that Saturday is your last home game here and also what has it meant for you to play in Doak over this past season uh, it's, I'm just thankful I mean just I never knew I'd be in this position to begin with you know just go back a year ago I had no idea that this opportunity would present itself so yeah, just very thankful that me and my family got to experience this, and I got to experience it with the guys uh, that have been here for a long time. And uh, yeah, just you know, to go out there and do it one more time, I think it's just a really, really special opportunity. And uh, it's even better when you're undefeated and you have a lot on the lines and lots to sacrifice. So uh, yeah, no, it's a uh, I'm really thankful. Were you were you in the group of guys that went over to the students at the end of the game? Uh, I was late to the party, but uh, <laughs> no, I was I was talking to some guys after the game on there. I was, you know, just giving my kudos to that old line. I thought they played really well, and uh, yeah, no, I was late to that party. And maybe I'll make maybe this one I'll get there. <laughs> Did and then just I'm sure you a year ago or two years ago you probably thought you'd already be playing professionally at this point. Yeah. I mean, 
had to be a lot of hard moments along the way, but like looking back and the way this has worked out. Yeah, I think it's been nothing but beneficial for me. I think, you know, going into it was scary. I mean, it just like, making the jump itself was a little nerve wracking of, you know, because all of the things that could go wrong, you know, like you spend your last year, maybe you don't even play at the next place, which I had a lot of confidence that I would, and I had a pretty good idea of where I was going and where I, you know, I could make an impact. But yeah, no, it's uh, where I was a year ago, two years ago. I, yeah, I had a feeling I would already have made it to the next level or at least gotten the opportunity whatever it may be, but yeah, just this has been nothing but beneficial for me, you know, take it to the next level and hopefully get an even better opportunity, so yeah.